Hello and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to create ammo or ammunition in Game Maker. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it does not matter. But one thing you will have to have done is to watch a shooting tutorial or have or know how to create shooting in Game Maker. I have a tutorial about this in the description, so if you don't know how to shoot, you can watch that. So yeah. So what I'll be using, I'll be using my player object, my bullet, and my ammo object. This ammo object will give our player ammo when he touches it. So yeah, that's pretty simple. So, um, yeah. So what we first want to do, we're going to create a control object that will manage our ammo. So I'll call it obj underscore ammo C or ammo controller. Add an event, create event, control, execute code. It'll say global dot ammo. We'll call it global dot ammo equals 30. So I have 30 ammo when the game starts. Now I like using global variables because they're easier easy to manage and also they use a little more space but they're easier to manage. And um they're really helpful for drawing on the screen and using other stuff. So yeah. So also you want to set your ammo controller to persistent. I almost forgot that. And so this is just uh, for fun code, I guess. Well, not for fun, it's important, but whatever. So I'm going to draw the current amount of ammo on the screen. So this is the optional part. So draw underscore text is going to show us how much ammo we have. So I'll say view underscore x view plus hmm, plus zero I guess comma view underscore y view plus 130 comma c comma let's see quotation marks ammo semicolon space quotation marks plus string global dot oh where I get I'm sorry plus string global dot ammo no errors so this is the optional code this will show us how much ammo that we currently have so this is optional you can, might also want to change these settings if you want the 0 and the 130 to match your game the view and score x view part just means it will follow the screen like a side scrolling game It'll, it won't come lost so yeah, that's pretty much all we need in the ammo controller. Now we go to our player event, or player object, better yet. Add in a create event, so it's like add event create, in case you don't have one. And it, just want to execute some code, so go to the control tab and execute code. We're going to create another variable, call it can underscore shoot, and say equals true. So when our player is created, he can shoot basically that's it now in my global left pressed event this is how I made my shooting tutorial I made shooting with using the mouse or shooting with the mouse or aiming with the mouse better yet so my tutorial was created based off shooting with using the mouse it's pretty much the same concept for ammo as shooting with any regular button this is just a trigger button as I call it Space can be the trigger button, but this is the trigger button in this case. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a set variable. If can underscore shoot equal to true. So in the global left press event, if can underscore shoot equal to two, you have to start a block between the create bullet object. I mean create bullet action. This is the create bullet. This creates the bullet when we press the trigger button. So it can underscore shoot equal to true, create a bullet, drag the set variable, let's say, eh, wait, no, global dot ammo minus one relative. So it'll subtract one bullet also from our ammo, end of a block. Now, we're going to also need us to go to our step event. So in the step event, so add event, step, step, just in case you don't have one. I'm going to execute some more code. So, code, execute code. 
So just ignore this code. I'll call it the ammo code. Is that how you spell ammo? Wait, is that how you spell ammo? Just look at it for a second. It just looks wrong. How you spell ammo? A M M O. Alright, never mind. So we're going to say if global dot ammo less than one. So we have zero or less. Just zero, I guess. Can underscore shoot equals false. If global dot ammo greater than zero, can underscore shoot equals true. Yay. So that's basically all we need for the ammo code for our player step event. If global dot ammo less than one, can underscore shoot equals false. We can only shoot if we have more than one bullet. Or if we have one bullet. Or more. If we have let if we have zero bullets we can't shoot basically. And let's see what else. That's pretty much it. So I'll teach you how to add ammo. Let's see am I forgetting anything? No. So in our object ammo, the object that gives our player some ammo, just add a collision event with the player. Main one, destroy instance, applies to self. Control, set variable, global dot ammo. Wait, I spelled it wrong. Ammo. Let's say plus ten, I guess. Relative, so it adds ten. And we are done. Make sure your ammo controller is in the first room of your game, and make sure it's set to persistent, like I said earlier. So make sure it's in the first room of your game. Set to persistent. Everything's set. Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my character select screen room. As you can see, the draw text button, the ammo is already, the ammo thing is already here. Click on my player. So when I shoot, that's the bullet. I lost the ammo. Shoot again, just to lose. Let's see, seven, six, five, one, three, two, one. I have zero ammo, and I can't shoot anymore. I'm clicking as hard as I can't see. Won't work. But when I get an ammo object, or an ammo object. Oh, I misspelled it. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I misspelled it. Huh funny. Okay, I'll try this again. I'm sorry about that. I misspelled ammo. I spelled it A-M-M-P for the coin object. You probably noticed that. So I get an ammo object, and I have 10 ammo, and I can shoot again. Now I have zero. 10, 20. I can shoot, and I'm all out of ammo. Well, this has been an original. We try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.